Hey guys, I'm back. Uh, sorry, I've just had a lot of life stuff going on lately, so I've kind of had the videos take a back seat. Plus, I've had a lot of different projects going on, uh, things kind of moving around, changing, and whatnot. So, I finally got this guy running right to the way I want it, and I figured to make a video on it for the fuel injection system and everything related to that. So, to kind of give you a backstory, I started originally with a 99 harness with 97 computers and it was running the uh, coil pack system the wasted spark and it d ended up working like I took the whole harness out of it like I bought the harness I didn't take it out of the junkyard and whatever happened was let me get this guy out of here what happened was it didn't ever want to run right because it turned out that the cam synchronizer for the 99 was not compatible with the 97 computer. So I'm like, okay, might as well get the 97 harness and uh, go from there and kind of slim it down, trim it down, etc. So it kind of just didn't end up working out well. I'll kind of go through more of it in just a second. But shout out to Ron Francis. Nothing bad to say about that harness at all. Yeah, they're 500 bucks or so, but it's well worth the money, I'd say for what you get. The other nice thing about the Ron Francis harness is they gave you more than enough wiring to mount the ECU in whatever location you would like. I haven't taken this guy off running yet, but I'm pretty sure that this is all waterproof, at least water resistant, to the point that I can get water on it and it won't fry, so we'll see. But a lot of this stuff ended up looking like it's gonna work perfectly fine, thankfully. So one more thing before you end the video, I wanted to add the fuel system. I don't know if I really went over that, but the fuel system that I ended up running was a return fuel system because this is a 94. And the nice thing is the 97 Explorer uh, fuel rails fit perfect. There's no issues with it. They plug right in the stock connections, no issues, perfect. Except if it is a big deal, this guy is very close to the distributor and kind of mimic, like not mimics movement, minimizes the amount of movement that you could do usually with the distributor so you have about maybe to about there I'd say where you can move it to and before it hits the fuel injector rail other thing is I rounded up running uh, eBay 19 pound fuel injectors just stock injectors but brand new or at least rebuilt and I've had no issues with them so far I had maybe one I had one issue with this guy ceiling but I fixed that so that ended up working fine. So back to what I was talking about with the fuel injection setup with the fuel pumps. They do include a fuel pump wire that runs with the ECU. So I ended up going kind of in between because there's the inertia switch here that, you know, don't mind the tape, but the inertia switch has to go under the dash somewhere and you have to get the inertia switch mounted and run all the wiring to it. So I ended up just kind of going with the stock system, which is just running a fuel pump relay here and not worrying about it. I have it to key ignition. So whenever I turn the key on, fuel pump runs. No problem there. The tank itself, I added a Walboro 255 that I ended up getting. And I had to modify the pickup a little bit because it was a side, uh, the, the strainer mounted to the side, not the middle. So I ended up having to do a little bit of work to that, but it runs, drives, it's uh, pretty good. It's stock 302 power right now, but you know, hey, I, it's a lot better than I'd say the Explorer harness, at least for an earlier truck. I, I just didn't have a good experience pulling a junkyard harness and then having to rewire it so to relocate the ECU, because the 95s and newer had them here, 94 and older had them there. There's just so many complications I ran into, and I really needed the truck running, so I said, screw it, I'm gonna get a harness. And it ended up working fine. So, yeah, $500 later, I probably should have done that in the first place, but, you know, it's it's a kind of a learn and go project, so uh, that should really do it for this video. Uh, hope you enjoyed it.